Hello everyone and welcome to this video where we have super exciting news. I love making videos like this and presenting things like this. We got hit with an update or update notes and it is official. The commercial fishing update is coming out on May 8th. So only a few weeks away and we are going to have some amazing information to look at here and sort of discuss as we go through the items. When the fishing first came out, the developers had told us to sort of try and give them some ideas. They told the content creators to release some videos. Myself and a bunch of others made such videos. And actually, I have to say, not only were the videos a great success in terms of the viewers, but also we had a lot of great comments and a lot of great ideas of people discussing ideas, creating things, and sort of putting things out there for the developers to read, look at, maybe consider for their update. Which is really cool when looking at the notes here from the developers, I found a couple of different information parts that were discussed in my videos. So whether or not it is because of my suggestion or other YouTubers, or maybe it was even just a de uh, developer's idea from the beginning, it's cool to see. So the first thing we get here is the fact that fish will be found most abundantly at specific places on the map. That's actually something I discussed and the fact is, like real life fishing, certain areas are rich with fish, certain areas don't have as many fish, so you have to look and find out where these fish tend to live. Maybe it's going to be in your reefs, maybe it'll be totally random, but it is cool to consider. Different species of fish will have different locations and depths, as well, that's something I considered and I always thought that is a really neat point because different types of fishing, whether you use the rod or whether you use nets or something else, it does get you different types of species. Information on these locations will be purchasable in a similar way to offshore oil deposits. So that's quite neat. We can purchase places where there's going to be fish. Here's a really neat photo showing this net, our first glimpse kind of at that and this crane. Really neat ship here as well here on the top you see that this ship has two booms and this sort of large net. Now there is a new fish finding radar so we talked about this in one of my other videos where they're going to scan the seafloor and scan the water for fish. Data will be able to assist you in locating the highest fish density areas and help informa information such as fish depth which is useful for setting your nets. Love it. Love to see that. If you do cast off some nets off your ship, the fact is you can select their depth and find where these schools of fish are, end up in a nice fruitful catch, which is really nice. In my video, I suggest that it's sort of like the parachute, but that is not what we're going to get here. We're going to get something much better, actually. By creating rope links between fishnet anchors, you'll be able to create rectangular nets simulated with a simple cloth type simulation. These necks can be extended and contracted and also have an openable release in their center to release your catch. Amazing. This is much better than I thought. Fish that swim into your nets are picked up and visible on the net. So even that is better than what I imagined. You could see here clearly there's this massive net and we got a bunch of fish and of course depositing it into the hopper here. So a lot of different systems at play now but what's really neat to think is that not only are we kind of getting this commercial trawler type fishing we're actually actually getting a whole new animation in the game that's going to give us a really rich experience when it comes to fishing so now not only do we have kind of our commercial or our recreational fisher on a small boat we get now this massive style of operation and last but not least, fish will be priced differently depending on species. This is again something I discussed, I think it's just logical and clear. With some fish are more valuable than others, and some locations more abundant than others, they're a strategy to operating a fishing vessel. So of course, you have to kind of think about it. You don't just go out and drive into the middle of nowhere. You have to actually consider what you're doing, where you're doing it, and how you will do it. Now last, it is a free major update and will be available on May 8th. So not very much waiting for us to do here. So there's definitely a lot to look forward to now that this fishing has kind of become a actual commercialized way of making money not just kind of recreational fun mini game like you see in these small vessels but now we're actually going to be able to build trawlers make nets 
and run proper fishing operations, which is super exciting. I love to see this type of update and love to see that the developers were actually looking at the comments that other people were having and kind of implementing them. So I don't know about you, but I'm going to be developing some trawlers now. I'm going to be looking into the systems that I could use and I hope to see other parts of the update coming like the crabbing and this type of thing. We've given a bunch of different suggestions of different types of fishing. I think nets were the first obvious choice, but who knows where the future is going to bring. We might end up with more fishing. So stay tuned for the update. I'm going to be making videos of the trawler and other things as they come. Can't wait to share it with you. Stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for more content, more creations, and as always, happy storm everyone.